Alright, so ito na. Ito na yung pinaka-exciting part. Ito na yung pinaka-the best part when it comes to subnetting. Finding the magic number, magic number, or yung tinatawag natin na increment. Bakit? Kasi once you get this, once you realize or once you figured out how to get this, what we called magic number, promise. Masasagot mo na lahat ng posibleng tanong sa isang subnetting questions. Okay? So yung magic number will basically give us the ranges, the last valid host, the network address, the broadcast address, etc. Okay? So, diba kanina dun sa naunang video, nag-solve tayo ng sample subnetting question kung saan in-split natin yung given network or given subnet. Pero hindi natin nalaman kung ano-ano yung mga subnets, kung ano-ano yung mga IP, kung ano yung broadcast address na nabibilang doon sa, sa subnet na yon. Hindi natin nasagot, di ba? Kasi dito natin siya sasagutin sa video na to. So with finding the magic number or the increment na tinatawag, we can get those numbers. Ano yung first valid host, ano yung last valid host, ano yung valid host range, ano yung network address, ano yung uh, sa nabibilang yung ganitong IP, etc. Sabi ko nga, once you get this, once you learn this by heart, you can answer any subnetting questions in the exams or in the interview. So you ready? Right, so let's go ahead and talk how to get or how to find the magic number or the increment. So yung magic number or increment, ito rin yung tinatawag natin na range or space between each subnet. Kasi nga, di ba, we get the network address, we get the broadcast address. Now, ano-ano yung mga IP na nabibilang? Paano natin makikita kung anong mga ranges ng subnets or ano yung mga network kapag nag-subnets na tayo? Di ba? Kanina nakuha natin, we split a given network into three subnets pero nakuha natin yung subnets now ano yung mga network na nandun paano mo kukunin yung mga ranges ano yung mga valid IP di ba so by getting the magic number we can have those things we can have those numbers right so si magic number o yung tinatawag nga natin na increment ito rin yung heart ng subnetting ibig sabihin sabi ko nga once you get this once you figured out how to get the magic number magigets mo na or masasagot mo na lahat ng mga posibleng tanong sa subnetting. Okay? I remember yung <laughs> palabas sa Netflix na Snowden. I'm not sure kung napanood nyo si Joseph Edward Snowden. Di ba? May, meron siyang ginawang program called Heartbeat kung saan pinag-connect-connecta niya yung mga program. Anyway, magandang magandang uh, movie yun na related sa hacking or IT panoorin nyo. Snowden. Okay? Let's go back. Okay? Now, um, with Finding the magic number or kapag ka nakabisado mo na kapag mabilis ka nang mag-compute on how to get this magic number, this will bring you the rank, kumbaga, nung tinatawag nating subnetting ninja. Magkakaroon ka ng badge, dapat pala may badge tayo, no? Magkakaroon ka ng badge, subnetting ninja ka na. Kasi nga, nasasagot mo na lahat ng tanong sa subnetting, eh. Nasasagot mo ng mabilis, ng accurate, ng precise. With that said, let's go ahead and talk how to get the magic number. Okay, kanina... O dun sa naman ng video, we use the formula, di ba? So, alam natin na yung subnet mass is yung kulay green. At alam natin, okay, dapat ito, take note. On how to get the magic number, di ba? Alam natin na yung subnet mass, yung kulay green. On how to get the number of ones in a subnet. Now, to get the magic number, kailangan mo lang makuha kung ano yung number or kung ano yung value na nandun sa taas ng subnet mass. For example, yung subnet mass mo is pumatak ng 240. Ang magic number nun, or ang increment nun, is 16. Okay? For example, ang subnet mass mo, yung, yung last subnet mass mo, is pumatak ng 252, ang magic number mo, or increment mo, is 4. So basically, ang steps natin is, increment will equals to the values. Ayan. So yun nga, yung 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 1, 2, 8, where the subnet mass falls in our finger technique. So kung saan papatak yung subnet mass mo, yung value sa taas noon yun yung ating sub, uh, yun yung ating magic number okay and then to get the range for example is starting from the base network we just add the increment doon sa octet kung saan nagkaroon ng changes you get this so I'll, uh, uh, i'll give you the example later pero this is basically the summarized test of everything um, about magic number Okay, so kailangan mo malaman ano yung subnet mas mo. Let's say for example, 255.255.240.0. So 240, saan siya pumapatak? 240, di ba? 240, ano yung magic number? Ano yung increment or ano yung values niya when it comes to 240? 16. So yung increment mo, 16. Saan natin i-add dun sa octet kung saan meron changes? For example, ang, ang subnet mas mo, 248, 
increment niyan, 8. So, fix yan, hindi yan mababago. Let's go ahead and take example. Di ba kanina, uh, bago pala natin po tayo example, just a reminder na yung first and last val, uh, first IP and last IP in a given subnet, hindi sila usable kasi yun yung network address at saka broadcast address. So, I'll show you an example later. Di ba kanina, dun sa example natin, uh, okay, we split 192.168.1.0 slash 24 into 3 networks. And then, ang nakuha natin, 192.168.1.0 slash 26. Now, ano-ano yung mga subnets na yun? Ano-ano yung mga network, uh, yung tatlong network, for example, na yun? Diba? Ano yung mga ranges, ano yung first valid host, etc. So, we can get that by having the magic number or yun nga, yung uh, increment. Diba? So, alam natin, sabi natin sa rules natin, Slash 26 would be 26 na ones na magkakasunod. Diba? So, sa slash 24, meron ka ng tatlong 255. So, nasa 4th octet ka na. Diba? So, 25, 26. That's why it's 255.255.255.192. Now, ang sabi dun sa rules natin, increment will be equal to the bulge where the subnet mass falls. Eh, ang subnet mass natin, 192. So, that means our increment would be 64. And then, para makuha mo yung range, starting with the base network, mag-a-add ka ng increment, increment or magic number doon sa octet kung saan meron changes. Get? So, ang changes natin nandun sa fourth octet. Doon tayo mag a ng increment. Pero mag-start mag tayo sa base network. So, that will give us, basically, di ba? So, as you can see, I started with 1.0 and then nag-plus ako ng 64. As you can see here, nasa na yun? 64 kasi yung increment ko. Diba? 64, this one. Ayan, 64. Diba? Kasi nga, dun pumatak yung 192 eh. You get this? So, nagad ako ng 64. So, 0 plus 64 plus 64 plus 64. You get this? Kasi yun yung rules eh. Starting from the base network, mag-add ka lang nung, nung magic number or nung increment doon sa last, uh, doon sa octet kung saan may change. Which is in the last octet in our example. Now, we already have those subnets. Pero, syempre, cool lang yan dahil network address lang yan. Para makuha mo naman yung broadcast address, you need to subtract one from the next network. For example, to get the broadcast address of this, you need to subtract one here. Oops, nawala. Okay? Nawala. Wait lang. <clears throat> okay? So, um, saan na tayo? To, to, uh, to get the broadcast address of this, kailangan mo mag-subtract ng 1 dito. ba? So, sabihin, ang mangyayari is this one. Diba? Kaya ako nakuha yung 63, nag-minus ako ng 1 sa 64. Kaya ako nakuha yung 127, nag-minus 1 ako ng 1 sa 128. Kaya ako nakuha yung 191, nag-minus ako ng 1 sa 192. You get the point? Yun yung uh, formula natin to get the broadcast address. Minus 1 ka dun sa next subnet. You get this? Now, ito na, yung mga ranges. By getting the magic number, by getting that thing called increment, we already have the range. So, yung first subnet natin, 192.168.1.0 hanggang 192.168.163. Yung pangalawang subnet natin, 192.168.1.64 hanggang 192.168.127. Yung pangatlo, 192.168.1.128 hanggang 191, etc. Yan yung uh, network, yan yung pinaka buong network. Now, syempre, sabi nga natin, yung first, which is this one, first IP and last IP is not usable. Diba? Kasi network address tsaka broadcast address. Ang usable lang dito sa subnet na to is, syempre, yung 192.168.1.1 uh, hanggang 192.168.1.62. Kasi nga yung 1.0 at saka 1.63, they are network address and broadcast address. So, if we're going to compute with this, ang usable lang dito is 1.65, dito ha, siyempre, plus 1 ka dun sa network address. 1.65, hindi ko na sasama yung 192.168. So, that hanggang 1.26, minus 1 ka naman sa broadcast address. Kasi yung network address and broadcast address, hindi sila usable. You get this? So, para makuha mo yung usable dito, 129, okay, 1.129, 1.129 hanggang 1.90. You get the point? Yun yung mga usable IP addresses. So, by getting the magic number, we come out with 
all these uh, solutions or will uh, with these answers. So mamaya pagdating natin sa subnetting questions or sa subnetting practice, mas magigets at mas ma maintindihan mo pa, ah, ganun pala yon Yung pala yung silbi ng tinatawag natin na magic number. Kaya pala siya tinawag na magic number. Now, dun sa example natin kanina, di ba? If you can remember, nandiyan pa yung mga sulat ko, we subnet or we split 172.16.10, uh, I mean, that 1.0 into 6 subnets din. Di ba? Di ba? Ang sagot natin is slash 19. Di ba? So, to get the ranges, dun sa slash 19 na yon we can say na uh, slash 19 will fall into 224. Di ba? So, 224 yan. Kasi nga, di ba? Sa 16, meron ka ng 16 na 1 sa dalawang 255. Okay? And then, 17, 18, 19. So, yung pangatlo mo, that will fall on 224. Ang increment niya is 32. Diba? So, if we're going to check, since alam natin na 32, <clears throat> mag add lang ako. Okay? So, I can start with this. For example, okay, I can start with this. So, 1.0 or I can start with 0.0. Pero anything, ah, uh, Kailangan ko lang mag-add ng 32 doon sa base number ko. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, plus 32, plus 32, plus 32. Kaya ako nakuha yung mga subnets na yan. Now, to get the broadcast address of this subnet, kailangan ko lang mag-minus 1 dyan. Diba? So, that will give me those numbers. You get this? You're following this. Diba? So, by getting the magic number, nakuha ko yung increment. By, giving, by having the increment, nakuha ko yung mga ranges. Now, nakuha ko yung network address, nakuha yung broadcast address, nakuha ko yung first valid host, nakuha ko yung last valid host. So, with this one, for example, ang first valid nyan is 172.16.1.1 Kasi nga, yung 1.0 is not usable. Hanggang 172.16.32.254 Kasi nga, yung 255 hindi siya usable. Nagigets? You're following this, right? Okay? Now, dun sa another example natin, we split 10.0.0.0 slash 8 into 20 subnets. At ang nakuha natin, slash 13. So, yung slash 13, pag kinonvert mo, will give us to, diba, 8 na. Yung sa 8 pa lang, meron ka ng isang 255. Diba, slash 13. Uh, pagka kinonvert kasi natin yan into decimal, that will give us <coughs> this. 248. Kasi, di ba, 255. Meron ka ng 8 na 1. So, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You get? So, ang value ng uh, thir pan-13 mo na daliri is 248. Ang increment value ng 248 is 8. That's why we have um 8 as the increment. And then, we're gonna add 8 on the second octet. As you can see, plus 8, plus 8, plus 8, plus 8. Nag-add lang ako ng 8 dun sa second octet. Ano, ah, no, no. O, oh, tama, sa second octet kasi nandun yung changes ko eh. Diba? So, by having that, I can have the broadcast address by subtracting 1 here, which will give me 7.255. By subtracting 1 here will give me, oh, no, no, that should be, <laughs> this one should be 15. Okay? So, dapat nakikita nyo rin yung mga mali. Diba? So, 15 yan. 15.255. Kasi 16 eh, minus 1 ka. Diba? 16.255, 23.255, 31.255. But you're getting the point. You're following this. Diba? So, ang ginagawa lang natin, kinukuha natin yung increment, ina natin doon sa octet kung saan nangyari yung changes. Diba? So, with this, dapat nagigits mo na. Dapat, uh, what do you call this? Dapat nakukompute mo na sa AC mo. Kasi mamaya, once we go with subnetting questions or subnetting problems, uh, mas mahahasa ka pa, mas magagamit mo pa, mas magagamit mo pa ta, mas magagamit mo pa to uh, mga technique na to. Okay? So, with that, um, yung last example natin, we split 172.16.10.0.16 into 40 subnet. So, that gives us slash 22. Diba? So, yung slash 22, alam naman natin na kapag kinonvert mo yan into decimal, that will give us 255.255.252.0. So, yung 252, yung pa lang eh. Kasi tatandaan mo lang kung saan pumapatak yung decimal value ng subnet mass eh. So, 252, it brings us here. That will give us increment of 4 on the third octet kasi nandun siya. 
nandun yung tinatawag nilang interesting octet. So, to give the range, I just start with the base network. Okay? I can start with 10. Okay? I can start with 10. Okay? Kasi ganun din naman. Pap papatak ka din dun eh. Diba? So, start with 10 and then to get the broadcast address of this, kailangan mo lang mag-subtract ng isa dito. So, basically, 13.255. Diba? So, 13.255 Dito naman, magma-minus ka ng isa. So, 17.255. Dito, ganun din. 21.255. You get this? You're following our formula. So, yung formula natin, ayun. Increment or magic number will equals to the values here. Ito, yung mga yan. 1, 2, 8, ganyan. Kung saan pumapatak yung subnet mas mo. Titingnan mo lang or tatandaan mo lang kung ano yung value niya sa taas. And, uh, <laughs> boom! Alam mo na yung sagot. Diba? I know it sounds easy for me kasi... Lagi ko nang ginagawa, lagi ko na rin tinuturo Pero as you practice, as you go along with this course As you solve our subnetting questions or subnetting problems in the next videos Mas mahahasa ka pa, mas magigets mo pa yan Pero promise, once you get this thing, that we, what we called magic number You can already answer any questions na regarding or na related sa subnetting Okay? Malinaw, we're good with this so, make sure na natatandaan mo. Yun lang yung formula. Okay, tatandaan mo lang kung saan pumatak. I mean, kung ano yung subnet mas mo. For example, dapat alam mo kung paano mag-convert. For example, ano yung slash 27? Diba? So, alam mo na yung slash 27 is 224. Diba? So, ibig sabihin, 224, ang increment mo, 32. So, ganun. Kung saan pumapatak yung subnet mas mo, dapat alam mo kung ano yung magic number value niya. Okay? Malinaw, so in the next or in the following lessons, in the next videos, magsusolve tayo ng mga subnetting problems or subnetting questions para talagang mas mahasa, para talagang ma-implement or ma-apply natin itong mga natutunan natin. Okay, so I hope this video by this time makes sense. Okay, sana, 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 I hope natutunan mo. Kung hindi man, ulitin mo. Kung may, may tanong ka, i-PM or email mo or i-post mo sa group natin, promise, once you really get this, it will help you pass the exam. It will help you pass the interview na may related sa subnetting. Okay? So, I'm going to cut this video here. I'll see you on the next lesson.